So this is uh, the Android TV. The thing that's really great, first of all, is this is connected to your Android account. When you bring it home, you plug it in, you type in your Gmail account, and if you have music, if you have movies, it's already here. Okay? It already shows up. If this has recommendations. Of course, as you know, Google is very smart about following what kind of things that you enjoy playing. And so it knows what kind of movies to recommend for you. So this is the recommendation layer. This is the NVIDIA Shield Hub. We have games that are streaming. Okay, This is the cloud gaming. We have downloaded games. This is a library of games that are beautifully made on Shield. Beautiful games on Shield. Borderland, Doom 3, Metal Gear Rising, Half-Life 2. Wonderful games. And of course, uh, in the United States, Netflix is very important. It also has a bunch of apps. This is how you buy your movies. All kinds of movies available. It is also your home stereo now with music. And look how fast it is. We have Android TV, photographs and videos. This is what 4K video looks like. The world's first 4K set-top box. Little tiny thing. My remote control has a touch volume just by swiping my, my thumb over it. Very obvious where it is, right there. Isn't this amazing? And now, YouTube will have 4K video, Netflix will have 4K, Amazon will have 4K. So 4K is coming to television. If you have a whole bunch of movies that you already own, Plex allows you to connect your, to your PC and access all of your media. Okay? YouTube. All kinds of wonderful things. Let's see. NVIDIA CEO talking about self-driving cars. Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Okay. Should we try something? Uh, who, who is that? Who is that? Uh, the guy that played Green Hornet. What's his name? Uh, Jay Cho. Jay Cho. Jay Cho. Do you guys know Jay Cho? Jay Cho. Wow. Wow. Bruce Lee playing ping pong. Wow. <laughs> so good, right? Okay. Um, let's see. So, so uh, Star Wars. All the movies on Star Wars. You can also see Star Wars on YouTube. Star Wars games. It all just shows up. Um, let's see. This is a good game. They did a good job. It's a puzzle game. Basically, you have to find all these sigils to get to the next, um, I guess, level, per se. And you're trying to get up a tower, uh, collecting these sigils. Um, you're, you control a robot, and you can see that, you know, be it the shadows, the you know, detectors, everything, that's basically exactly the same as what you will see on the PS4, and the PC version, for that matter. It's so convenient. It's so convenient. And so the family could enjoy movies, buy a game, click and go. All your music is there, all your photographs are there, all your movies and you know, all your games in the same place. And the beautiful thing is, if you have your tablet, if you have a shield tablet, everything shows up exactly the same. And you've got games like this one.